morning. It is a wonderful, beautiful day here at the Shabin. And today I'm going to try something which I think is a little crazy and I'm a little unsure of, but I am going to stain and seal our Shabin with used motor oil and diesel fuel mixed together. So originally I was thinking I would go buy several gallons of something from a hardware store like polyurethane and stain or some sort of wood deck sealer and the more I read into it the more I decided that I really wanted to try this method. Now I've never done this, um, I've just read a little bit about it. Um, it sounds pretty simple and from what I understand, oh there's a beautiful butterfly, so from what I understand you just mix the oil and the diesel 50-50, you put it in a pump sprayer and you spray it on the shabin and use a barn brush to kind of even it out. Sounds simple. It sounds fairly easy. I hope, <laughs> I hope it's that simple. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I've never done anything like this. I have several questions about this also, like how long is it going to smell like diesel fuel? Is it going to dry or is it always going to feel like oily and greasy? I don't, I don't know. Um, is dirt going to stick to it? Like I have so many questions, but everybody on the internet tells me this works. I'm going to try it. It's a pretty cheap, cost-effective way to do it. And I think it will give me the look that I'm going for on the Shabin also. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's get started. We brought this used oil from back home and I think I'm just going to start by dumping the oil in the bottom first. This is exciting. It's going to take forever to come out of here. I really don't honestly know how much I need either or how far it goes, but we'll start small and see what it, what it looks like here. Okay, so that's the oil. Nice black, very used, gross motor oil. So I'm gonna add an equal amount of diesel. So I got about like two and a half inches of oil at the bottom and I'm gonna add about two and a half inches, just kind of by eyeballing of diesel. Should be about right. Be a stick or something here. Looks like a good stirring stick. Stir it up. What are you growling at, Herman? Oh yeah. This is gonna be a messy, a messy day. So I think that's a pretty good consistency I don't know I think I'll brush them on first and like see what it looks like so let's try that all right here goes so I'm just gonna first test it with my brush and just kind of see what it's gonna look like oh gosh I think that's gonna be really pretty Wow definitely changes the color but I wanted something darker because I want it to kind of blend in with all the woods and the trees we have around us. Yes. You know, and I, it's not that I don't like the bare wood look, but I think we need to protect it from the elements with some sort of sealer and that's why really I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go darker so it blends with its surroundings. Oh, that's going to be really pretty, I think. Yes. And actually, there's enough breeze that I'm not getting like a huge whiff of diesel and oil. So I'm going to pour what's in this bucket into my sprayer. Try not to make a mess. Oh boy. Pump it up here. <laughs> Should be interesting. I hope this goes well. 
be a long day if I have to brush the whole thing, but okay, let's see. Set my nozzle here. Spray it into the bucket until I get a nice spray. It feels crazy doing this. I'm also starting on the back side of the shaman in case I mess up. It's the side that's least seen. So I think spray it and then I think coming back and brushing it. Uh, I don't know about that. Man, that wood soaks it right up too. Hey. No, 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 no. You can't be in there. Go, go. Go, go. My dogs are always trying to help me by being right in my immediate space of whatever it is I'm doing. Gosh, I think that's going to be beautiful. Yeah. I think that's going to work great. Such an interesting concept, but if it works, I'll be really happy. I have a feeling I'll be putting two coats on this thing. Goodness, that <laughs> changes the appearance drastically, for sure. Those are, no, oh gosh, you can't lay there. You just can't. You can't lay right there. I'm sorry. My dogs want to be covered in motor oil and diesel too apparently all right so the back side of the shabin has one solid coat on it um something which i'm glad it's the back side that i noticed is i mixed a little bit of the mixture earlier and i must have put a little more oil in it for this bottom part and then i mixed some more for the top and it's a little lighter so lesson learned, um, whatever you mix, make sure you get one whole side done with what you mix. And to be honest, I actually like the darker. So hopefully on my second coat, I can even this out a little bit. Not that it looks that bad. And quite honestly, nobody is ever over here. But I'm glad I started on the side less, the least seen first. So now I'm going to move to the front of the shabin. Okay, moving on here. So I definitely learned add a little more oil than diesel if you want it darker. Get her pumped up. And I also learned that oil splatters everywhere. So don't have anything too important near your cabin or shabin. I got my pump sprayer to spray a little better. So I've learned also that you don't really need to use your brush a whole lot. So that's kind of good too. So I'm really only using my brush on the battens just to kind of get the drips off. Um, the inside itself is soaking it up really nice. So there's really no need to brush the inside. So let's speed things up a little bit.
I am so impressed with this method so far. So here is the front, well, the front if you were pulling in the driveway, but the front door is on the side of the Shabin. So this side has not been, I haven't done anything to it yet. It's just the raw wood. And this is the side I just finished. And wow, I think it's just beautiful. Like what the oil and diesel is doing to the grain and bringing all that out and it's darkening it. So pretty. So here is the after. Here's the before. My goodness, it's beautiful. Makes a big difference for sure. All right, I'm gonna continue on. this is. I feel like if I would have bought, you know, something from the hardware store, um, it probably wouldn't have been this simple. Th like this is soaking right into all the wood that I hardly even have to brush. Sometimes I have to brush like around things or around the window. And I've been using like a paper towel to kind of clean off things that I don't want it on. And that's working really well. But I really am like just coating the crap out of it. I got over my fears of it and it soaks right in. Even when it starts to look drippy, it goes away. It, it soaks right into the wood. As far as applying the oil and diesel, I'm super impressed at the simplicity and how easy it really is. And I'm really loving the color. Like it's not orange, which a lot of stains and sealers turn things a weird orangey, yucky color. And this has a nice dark brown. And again, it's a little breezy today, so I'm not really, as far as I'm aware anyway, not breathing in all the diesel fumes. Like, I don't think you can mess this up. My only suggestion would be to add a little more oil than diesel. Just, unless you want it to be lighter colored, I, I guess, but my preference is darker. And every now and then I shake up my mixture in the tank in case the oil and diesel are separating a little bit. I don't know if that's how that works or not, but just to be safe. Seriously, you can't, I don't think you can mess it up. If only my sprayer shot a little higher and I didn't have to get on a ladder, that would be great, but that's okay. Wow, that makes such a huge difference. I wanted to show you a quick comparison of what I have sealed and what I have not, just side by side to show you how different it really is. And I haven't gotten up top yet, but I think it makes just such a huge difference. Like, wow. I'll be interested to see, like, how long it lasts. Like, how often I have to reapply. Um, I'm hoping maybe every two years, every three years. I don't know. Time will tell on that. But as far as how it looks today, I'm very happy. And I highly suggest this method. first coat kind of dry or soak in whatever you want to call it and it actually isn't even oily it, it soaks right into the wood so that's good um, what I have learned in this process is I do like it darker so I mixed two-thirds oil with one-third diesel and now I'm just gonna put a second coat on the whole entire thing and it should be done 
hopefully, and yeah, hopefully it'll last a couple years. That's the goal. We will see. I'll let you know in a couple years how that goes for me. But yeah, I, it's funny that I was actually scared to do this. Like I've been kind of freaking out for the last month about how I was going to do it, what I was going to do, how it was going to go on. And seriously, all you really need is a pump sprayer. I barely use the barn brush at all. Um, just on a couple little things and you literally just spray it on. Let it soak in. And even though it seems drippy, it soaks those in too and you don't see them. Kind of amazing to me, really. I don't think I could get this look as easy with store-bought stain and stuff. You know, and that's the other thing, too, is everybody was like, that's bad for the environment. Well, the stains and sealers you buy from a hardware store all have crazy warnings on them. They're all flammable. They all smell terrible. I can't imagine that this is any worse for the environment than what you would buy from a store to seal your deck or cabin. Not saying any of them are right, but you gotta seal it, so. put a second coat on the whole entire thing and then I'll show you guys the finished product so yeah it's pretty exciting um it's only taken me well with the hour dry time I suppose I have maybe three hours into the whole project not that the shabin's huge obviously if you have a bigger place it'll take you a little longer but as far as efficiency I think this is the way to go definitely <laughs> take a little tour. So I'm done with my final two coats. Obviously the second coat went on way quicker than the first coat. Always does. That goes with anything. Paint, stain, whatever. So there's that side. Our lovely temporary screen tent. The mosquitoes are pretty bad here in Minnesota so it's pretty necessary to have such a thing. But oh man. I think it turned out gorgeous. I'm very, very happy with the color. Here's the back. Eventually we'll finish the soffits and eaves there and it'll eventually get a tin roof, but all in time. And the other side. And you can see we had to bring an air conditioner with us. And it's pretty necessary because we have those two little naughty French bulldogs. And the heat has been kind of extreme the last few days. Like upper 90s, which is kind of unheard of for Minnesota. Um, most people don't up here don't have central air in their regular homes or window air conditioners even. So it's kind of bizarre. Um... It's been hot, and our generator actually runs that air conditioner. We do not have electricity here, so I'm happy that the generator is able to run it. But anyway, back to this oil and diesel mix. I'm very, very, very impressed. I highly suggest it to anyone, and it's not as scary as it sounds. I say do it. So our battens, I believe, are pine. I know they're pine. They're just like furring strips is what we used for battens. So, and then I believe the actual four by eight sheets of siding are cedar. 
and you can see they're kind of like roofs on just so you know how it soaks into different kind of woods obviously obviously if your cabin is more weathered than ours it'll probably look a little bit different but i still wouldn't hesitate to use this mixture i'll say go for it awesome so the boys are back from fishing the shabin is sealed we moved <laughs> <laughs> We moved the screen tent so we don't feel so claustrophobic over here by the shabin. And the oil diesel mix is drying really nice. The boys are hot. Oh, toots. But I thought I'd show you what it looks like without the screen tent in front of it. So pretty. Oh yes, outstanding. Brr. <laughs> I'm back for two seconds just to ask you a huge favor will you please subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our videos it would help us it helps us a lot to grow the channel and the motivation to keep making videos so yeah we would love you to subscribe to our channel and maybe like this video if you liked it <laughs> and leave your comments below we'd love to answer your questions and yeah that's about all I got please subscribe thanks <laughs>